good morning everyone oh you can't see me now you can see me uh i don't know if today is going to be a worth it loose life but i'm going to make it anyway this should be number nine i believe just not in chronological order but in just numerical order anyways i'm heating up my breakfast i have to get to work pretty soon uh the kitchen is an absolute mess still i don't know what i'm gonna do about that my house is an absolute mess still i don't know what i'm gonna do about that um i'm just heating up well, i already mentioned it sorry i didn't get much sleep last night join me today and we'll see what happens oh i have a major stomach ache now and it's not from the food it's just i just have a stomach ache yeah that was interesting that was an interesting morning. All right, let's let's head back home. Let's see what Mango is up to. And it is lunchtime, and we're eating some of my favorite favorite dishes today. Starting with bao um, nyum or beef dipped in vinegar. So they give you like a hot pot contraption like this. Oh, it's it's boiling, and then all you have to do is dip the beef in there, and then you wrap it. Actually, very simple. Take some of the beef. This whole thing is like five dollars, by the way. This whole. Uh, this whole set is like five bucks. All you have to do is lightly dip and it should be good enough. The rice paper itself does not need to be that wet because the moisture from the beef will make it soften, but not too much, not, well, not what we think. And this place has some really good uh, raurung or like wild vegetables. Stuff that I don't even know the name of uh, in Vietnamese or in English, but it just looks very, very uh, like just full of nature and stuff. Yeah, very, very full of nature. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just so hungry that I can't really describe. Um, so I'm just gonna roll it up. Oh, oh, and of course you need like some rau and of course uh, vegetables, pickles, the star fruit for some sourness to it, and of course you need the um, pickled vegetables as well. And then you wrap. Look at mangoes wrap. So neat and perfect. And mine's not gonna be like that at all. And then you have the option of dipping uh, big mum or mum nim as well. Up to you. There is so much flavor in this bite. The sour from the vinegar, the crunchiness of the pickled uh, leeks and daikon, and the wild vegetables. That's what makes up this dish, the wild vegetables. Gosh, there's a little bit sour. Oh. The bao nyum was an appetizer. This is the main event. Ban can with siwat or uh, pork bones. Ban can is like the Vietnamese style udon noodles with a very light broth. Traditionally, you'd order this ban can yo heo or uh, ban can with pork legs, pork feet. And that's what mango got. Mm. Wow. The pork bones with the nuk mum, it's so good. Well, that was probably one of our best meals, right? That was probably one of our best meals. Uh, now we have to head into the city. I need to go to the dentist. All right, it seems like we just ate, right? But no, we're eating again. Haha, <laughs> welcome to life in Saigon, non-stop eating. You're looking at Jaka Lavo. And uh, I actually have never had this before. Uh, shout out to Kiki Lei. Uh, yeah, shout out. Uh, why? I just, I don't know, I just want to give her a shout out. Oh, snap, familiar faces back at it. By the way, it's Seb, but not Seth. Many people are calling you Seth. Seb. S-E-B, guys. Sebastian. Sebastian. Of course, it's Nina, also known as Lena. And Andrew, also known as Man Boobs. Right? Andrew, Andrew, you have a lot of fans, right? This is actually kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of backlit. It's kind of backlit. I don't want to, I don't want to show you in the dark because the people are going to be like, oh, Andrew got darker. Andrew's not sexy anymore. See, there's really no precise way to eat it. You just let it simmer with the vegetables. You have some vegetables, chime, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. You got some dill, turmeric. Uh, fish and eat it with vermicelli noodles much like most other Hanoi dishes and then you also have the mum thumb right here 
got to mix that with some of the lime and the peanuts and yeah and then you can eat it with the banda for the extra crunch love banda yep very interesting photo so that was a lovely meal which i didn't get a chance to eat but i'm over that now because Oh, that's a good camera. So I'm at old boy's house and guess what? His friend recognized me. His friend actually watches my videos. I cannot speak English if I <laughs> What's your favorite video of mine? Uh, the eating the... The crickets, right? Yeah, crickets. The crickets, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? In the lap, in the lap. Yeah. Oh, it's old boy's wife. And they promised us fried chicken and we get four pieces. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's the deal with that? We'll order more. What is the deal with that, man? That's supposed to be my dinner. I thought you had you had shot It's dripping. Yeah, yeah, the AC is yeah. dripping, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Can I see what's in here? Yeah. What? Beer. So one for beer. So one for soju. One for soju and beer. Yeah. And then the other is for kimchi. Kimchi, yeah. Oh, look! Look what I found here. Why did you put? Christine's, why'd you put Christine's popcorn in the freezer? We opened it. This is a very famous one, guys. <laughs> the corn snack. Let's try it. This is Ding's favorite. Mm, yeah. Guys watching, that's Ding's favorite. So buy this and send it to her. So Sebanina brought old boy a gift. Yeah, mm. Danish liquor, quick Woo! and dirty. <laughs> Maybe. No, 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 no! Cheater! Cheater! You guys try this. Let, let me know in the comment down below. I never had something like this. Have you guys tried this? Can you guys vlog about it? What's the percentage? I'm gonna get drunk with one shot. It's like wine. You drink it. I'm gonna get drunk like that. It's salty though. I need to go buy some furniture after this. It's, it's a salty. I was in Harry Potter. He's about to out. <laughs> Why did I do that to myself? <laughs> no, it's not, it's not salty, it's, it's sweet, but it has a very like candy s taste to it that is incredibly but bitter it's at the same different. time. I, it's, it's one of the most like unique liquors I've had. This is uh, my Spreadshirt t-shirt. Um, it's up for auction. It's the only t-shirt available. This is a good investment. I'm serious. It's a good investment. It's, it's, it's for your portfolio. I'm serious, man. I'm serious, man. You never know what's gonna happen to me. If if I if I blow up, man, this is gonna be worth so much, man. It, for, it's, it's a it's a risk risk investment. I'm I'm talking like a, yeah. if if I have my own TV show, imagine you have the one and only. I'm not gonna even wash it either. I'm just gonna like just smother myself in, it, and then I'm just gonna send it to you. No, not, not even washed. You can have my part of my DNA. I'm serious. Well. Grill, mel, flügel. Well, grill, mel, flügel. Một con cắc sắc, hai con cắc sắc. Một con cắc sắc, sắc cắc. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I produced Old Boy's first music video. Look at everybody. Everybody's so happy with the Pringles up there. Pringles is certainly the best potato chips ever. Please sponsor us. Oh my gosh, it's so big! Oh! Oh my gosh! Okay, so we're gonna leave them watching the ear cleaning all night. Uh, we gotta go buy some bowls. We have to run because the furniture shop is gonna close like, like right now. So hopefully they still let us in and I don't even know we're going the right way. We are in a place called Uma and they have a few locations here in Saigon and everything is very modern. The decor is very modern. Oh, they have plans. Oh, it's too expensive. It's like five dollars. Uh, no way. This is kind of like a wannabe Ikea. I just want the cheapest things. <laughs> I'm serious. Give me the cheapest things. I don't need a set. It's just me by myself most of the time. That's too fancy for me. I know, I know, but I'm not going to use it that often, so just give me the cheapest thing, like this one right here. What the f- So, what? 
So it's a strategy. If I only have one, I will wash it each time. But if you get me a bunch, like two, I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to leave it in the, in the sink. So I don't really need it, all this fancy stuff. A part of me feels this is quite unnecessary. But I have to thank Mango because she wants to make my home more like a home and not like a rented apartment. I've always relied on my landlord to provide utensils and furnishing, furnishers, furnishers, furnishing, well, that Danish liquor, furniture and all that good stuff, right? I haven't really made it my home yet. So now she wants to help me and my new apartment um, become more homely. And she won't be in Saigon when I move. So this is kind of like a pre-home, new home gift. I don't need that, Mango. I really don't need that. I know it's cute, but I don't need that. I really don't. It's so cute. Dude, it's 50,000 dong. You realize how sad this is, right? When when you're gone, I'm just gonna be eating this by myself. You realize that, right? So if you buy if you buy me a set, you might as well buy a set for yourself. In terms of pricing, I almost forgot. Like this couch is about six hundred dollars or so. These shelves are about less than twenty dollars. Just to give you a basic idea, the bowl over here with the plate and the mat costs 180,000 dong, which is like nine dollars. Thank you. Uh, uh, but, uh, see, this is this is my opinion, right? Even though it's pink, right, Mango? It's about how it's bigger, and I eat a lot. Oh man, scary crossing this road. I still, to this very day, I'm scared to cross the roads in Vietnam. To this very day. Just follow the rules. What rules? No. Light for so yeah, you think people care about pedestrians here? Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this mess right here. Look at this, look at this, watch out, watch out. Look, we're going into them. We're going into them. They don't care about you, you care about them. Well, they don't care about me, they're gonna, they're gonna hit me. Okay, so I didn't really eat much food over at Old Boy's house, so I stopped by and got myself some blue eggs as you saw earlier. And blue eggs are fertilized duck eggs. That's right, there's a baby duck inside, and I love these. So how do you eat these? You just crack it, open like this, and it's hard, kind of hard with my left hand here. Just peel it. Oh, oh shoot, the juices are going to come out. Might as well just start sucking on it. This is the wrong thing to do. Okay, you got to get some of that chili, calamansi, salt and pepper mix in there, make it a little sour. And of course, you definitely need the Vietnamese coriander rau rum with duck eggs. It's a staple. Without rau rum, it's not balut eggs. So the secret behind eating this is do not look at the baby. If you look at the baby, you're not going to want to eat it. If you look into its eyes, you're going to feel so guilty. Mm. The yolk part. And also, the secret is you definitely don't want to eat a baby duck that's about to hatch because then that's extra gamey and really big. It'll stare right at you, into your soul. But I highly recommend balut eggs if you haven't tried it before next time you're in Asia. It's one of my favorite treats, great protein, and overall an excellent source of calcium as well. Well, that was a relatively fun day. And once again, I'm reminded that Vietnam has some insanely delicious food. The ban can was mouth-watering, and I cannot wait to try the jaca lavong in the center of it all in Hanoi soon. You're going to see some videos of Hanoi coming up, but these were filmed probably like last month or a little bit longer before that. But today's actually very interesting. Hanging out with friends, it felt very normal. It felt like having a normal life, having a home. And then, you know, Mango purchasing these, you know, like a bowl and, and a plate for me because I guess she believes that I don't. Whoa, whoa, I almost broke them. You see that? That's why I don't feel like I should be spending money on stuff like this because I rarely eat at home anyways. I rarely cook, so I don't have... A major need for them but that's beyond the point of money and all that right it's a thought that counts so thank you mango 
has hashtagged that. Thank you, Mango, for buying the set for me. It's reminding me that perhaps Vietnam is more homely than I think. Perhaps Vietnam can be a home where I'm able to spend some money in order to acquire and accumulate certain things just like back in the West, such as bowls and plates. Everyone should have some, except me. With that being said, do follow me on social media outside of YouTube, like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, for up-to-date information. And uh, be sure to give this video a like and leave me a comment with any thoughts or questions that you might have, and I'll try my best to look through them. And clearly you can tell that we do read the comments as best as we can. Kale.net, Facebook.com, slash Kale. Then, I'm falling asleep as we speak. Ah, why am I letting you do this to me? Ah. My eyes are great. Wow, I might do this every day myself.